In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pop art text image in Photoshop. Hey everyone, my name is Justin and you can find me on justthisgood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a really simple but eye-catching pop art text image you can create in Photoshop. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is open up a new document and you can use this style on any type of image you want, but just for the sake of this tutorial, let's pretend that we want to share it on Instagram. So the recommended largest Instagram size right now is 1080 by 1080 pixels to get the best quality. So we're going to go ahead and create a new document that's 1080 by 1080 pixels long and that's just going to give us that Instagram square size. So the first thing you want to do is fill our background with a bright and eye-catching color. So I like to head over to layer, new fill layer, solid color. Now this is going to open up our color picker and typically it's going to start out in this kind of color to white to black mode. So I like to pick a general color like yellow and then one tip to kind of fine tune the color is you can always go and work in different modes that they offer you like red, green, or blue and this kind of allows you to explore some different fine tune ranges of colors that you might not see in the hue section. So it's just a fun little way to kind of discover a color that you didn't see before. So I'm going to use this yellow here, um, FF36E, and select OK. So once you have your color picked out, the next thing you want to do is place your text. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my text tool and pick a good font that you'd like. Nothing with too many grungy or distressed effects. Preferably something clean and simple. So I'm going to go ahead and type out a simple word here, like hi, and go ahead and I'm actually going to highlight it all. If, it, it's, if your text is not white, just uh, highlight it all and then we're going to make it white. So you can click on these two little squares here to get to the default black and white colors and then switch them so white is on the foreground. So now I've got my white text against my yellow background but it's a little hard to see. So what's going to give it that pop shadow effect is a simple and pretty old Photoshop trick. You just want to hold Option and Command at the same time while having your text layer highlighted and then hit the up arrow and the right arrow on your keyboard. Every time you hit the arrow key it's going to create a duplicated layer that's one pixel up and so on. So I'm just going to keep doing that, holding Option and Command the whole time until I get a decent shadow. Alright, so looks like I made 90 movements here of one pixel, so it's about 45 pixels long, I guess, diagonally. I don't know if I did the math right, but... So what you're going to do now is, the last layer is going to be your top layer. It's kind of hard to tell because everything's white, but you want to click the second layer here. So leave your top layer alone, but click the second layer and go all the way down to the first layer, even including your original, and hold Command E. And that's going to merge and rasterize everything. So now you have your entire shadow on one layer, but of course we don't want this to be white. But since it's white, we can conveniently hit Command I, which is the shortcut for invert, and that's going to turn it black because black is the inverse of white, obviously. <laughs> you know that. One finishing tip I like to do is, if you notice, there's a really thin, like, one pixel stroke. Um, I don't prefer that there, so I grab my move tool, and then on the shadow layer, I just go down one pixel and left one pixel. And that kind of separates the two. And now, if I hold shift and select both my text layer and my shadow, I can move it around until Photoshop snaps it into the center. So there you have your pop art style image. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you check out my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave me a comment or question if you had any, and I'll see you guys next time.